Hi and welcome to DCO. My name is David Capetti and in today's video I'll be sharing with you how I created this pool. We start with the base form, move on to the coping, and then at the end I created this set of steps that you can change from a circle to a rectangle. And so I'm going to be sharing with you how I created it here. This will be available on my website, capettidavid.com, under the free tab for about a week. And then I'll be putting that under my script vault, or you can also find that at my script store on the website. So let's get started and let me show you how I created this. So first things first is I'm going to go into this mode, which is called only draw what you select. It's called here, only draw preview geometry from selected objects. So what I'm doing now is moving on here and I've already cleaned this up. Um, in a way that it can be easy for anyone to use. So what I'm doing here is just going back to selecting whichever components I want to preview. And so that's what this does. Here's the thing. Make sure that you turn it off when you're done because this can confuse you. You won't be able to see anything unless you select it. With that being said, we start with the rectangle. This rectangle is determined through the sliders here. And we can change the size of our pool. And so that's the base geometry. Then we extrude it and then extracted a line segment. So once you extrude it and ex extract this line segment, then I was able to create a few points that I then moved up. So this point and this point moved up. And now that creates this base curve that is going to be the, the ground. Once that was extruded, then I was able to split that original extrusion using that surface. Then I selected the top part and joined it together with the bottom part. Right after this, I was able to extract which of these points was the one were the ones that I wanted to use the fillet on and then I used the fillet edges to round off the inside portion of the pool then offset it to create the outside face and then joined it together using this component so we unioned it together using this and now we created the base form the cool thing about this is we can go back in and change the location and the height of it. So if we want this to be deeper on this side, we can do this. We can also move the location of the slope to be further back. And also for the slope to be a little bit more subtle. You can also move this around like this. So we see here in this elevation. Here, let me go back to solid. Now here, let me show you. You can see it in here in the right elevation. Then towards the end here, I created the coping. So what we did was take the outside line segment. So we took an offset, then used the original curve that we offset to create a surface. Once that surface was created, then I divided it using isotrim. And wherever they overlap is what I extracted. Then that was extruded up to create the coping material. And then down here, this is where we move on to creating the overall form. So let's select this. Now let's go down here to our form that we can change because right here we have the circles or we could use a rectangle.
we can change the form depending on what we want here. Those are determined by this. We can also decrease the number of steps. Here we have five steps. And then at the end, we put it all together using Boolean union. And so we have the overall form with the steps. And then up here, we have the coping material. Now, the next thing that I would say would be a good idea to do here is to create the, what's it called? The rebar or the reinforcement that is going to be used for creating this pool and that would be another cool thing to do possibly even just using a contour going in the x y and then z direction and that would create the inside structure to build this pool so with that being said hopefully you found that useful let me know if you have any questions like i mentioned earlier i will have this available for all of you um, to download completely for free and see how it all comes together. Sometimes it's best to see how things come together, unplug them, plug them back in, and get an understanding as to how things come together. Um, some people like learning that way, so make sure to let me know if you have any questions. I post videos like these every week where I share the process for creating parametric designs and therefore helping you become a better designer overall. So thank you very much for being here. Um, I hope you found that useful and I hope to see you on the next one.